Hey lovely people, welcome back once again to another exciting episode of Stitches Biz Collection. I'm Miss Stitches. Today in this video, let me share with you how to make this unique handmade beaded bag. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. Let's get started. Materials needed. So you cut your fish line, you make sure it's long enough. You cut it off and we are using 0.60 mm. You make sure you have the ends of the fish line. You pick four beads, fix on any side of the fish line, being in the right side or the left side, fix all four beads. And then you cross with the fourth bead using the other side of the fish line. Make sure you have the ends of the fish line so one side will be longer than the other. You pull it out and then you have your first ring of four done going on you pick three beads fix one on the left fish line fix one on the right fish line and then you cross with a third bead using both fish lines you still make sure you have the ends of the fish line you pull it out and then you have your second ring of four you still pick three beads, fix one on each fish line again, cross with the third bead using both fish lines. You make sure you have the end, you pull it out. And then you have your third ring done. So you are going to move on with the same method until we have 23 of this and I'm going to do that off camera. So we have 22 now and then with the 23rd path on this fish line here, you fix 3 beads, cross with the 3rd bead using the other side of the fish line, you pull it out. So you have the fish line turned like this and now we have 23. So still on the outer fish line here, you fix 3 beads again. Cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line, which is my right fish line, you pull it out. So you have a turn completely. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you fix two beads on the left fish line. Cross with the third bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you fix two beads again on the left fish line, cross to the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out and then you weave on with the same method till you get to the last end. So after the last but one bead with the right fish line, you go through the last bead here. Then on the outer fish line here, you fix two beads. Cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line, you pull it out. So you have a turn like this. Then on the outer fish line again, you fix three beads. Cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line, you pull it out to have it turned completely. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you fix two beads again on the left fish line, cross to the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you fix two beads again. Cross the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out, then you go through the next one bead. So with the same method, I'm going to move on from here to this end here. With the same method, I'm going to do that off camera. So this is what you should get after you are done and I'm going to extend it. So I'm going to weave 16 of this, so I'm going to extend it to 16, I'm going to do that of camera with the same method. So this is what you should get after you are done. That's the mat. And we have 16 on this side as I said earlier and this side is still 23. 
so this is what we have for the mat and i made this also off camera using the same matting method i use the same matting method for this but this time i have 11 on this side this side is 11 and this side is 4 so it's 11 is to 4 please note that and we are going to attach it to this side of the bag okay so using the same fish line here and on the outer fish line here you count one two three four so the fourth bead that is where we are going to start from okay so on the outer fish line here you fix one bead then with that same fish line where you fix the bead you go through the fourth bead on this side you go through this fourth bead here you pull it out from this side so you have the bead in the middle of both side like this and then you pick one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead with the left fish line you go through the next one bead then you pick one bead again cross with both sides of the fish line then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead with the left fish line you go through the next one bead then you pick one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line then you go through the next bead on each side of the fish line and then you pick one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out then this is what we have for this side this is what we have and i made this also off camera this is um five is to four with the same math method i did it five is to four we are going to attach the four side to this path which you count to the fourth bead and then you attach it to that side using the same method as this one here and i'm going to do that off camera and this is what you should get after you are done attaching both sides and passing the excess fish line through this is what we have and now i'm going to weave the base of the bag so with a new fish line you count one two so you go through the second and third bead go through the second and third bead here the first one and then the second one you pull it out so you have it like this then on the outer fish line here on this fish line you fix two beads cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line you make sure you have the ends you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead then you pick two beads fix on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead then you fix two beads again on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then you weave on with the same method so you get to the 19th bead So when you get to the 19th bead with the right fish line you go through the next two beads here which is the second and third bead here then you pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out so you have it like this then with the right fish line you go through this bead here then on this fish line here you fix two beads cross with the second bead Using the other side of the fish line, you pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you fix two beads again. On the left fish line, cross to the second bead, you pull it out. Then you go through the next one bead. Fix two beads again. Cross to the second bead, you pull it out. And then you go through the next one bead. So with the same method, I'm going to weave on 
from here to this end to this end and I'm going to do that off camera so this is what you should get after you are done with the base this is how it's looking this is how we have it and we have two here so this is one side of the bag and I made the same thing off camera the same size the same shape we also have two at the base here and the handles are equal one is long one is short I'm going to join it together to form the full body of the bag so I'm using the same fish line because it's long enough to start so on the outer fish line here you fix one bead then with that same fish line where you fix the bead you go through the first bead on this other side of the bag you pull it out so you have the bead in the middle of both sides like this and then you pick one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead with the left fish line you go through the next one bead then you pick one bead again cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead with the left fish line you go through the next one bead then you go on and pick one bead again cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out and then you move on with the same method throughout So this is what you should have as you can see we have the side joining up so we are going to weave on from here to this top side to this end here using the same method I'm going to do that off camera so this is what you should get after you are done joining the sides of the bag this is what we have this is how it looks like so we are done for this side then with the handle path we are going to join that side as well so you join each side each side like this and using the same method as we used in joining the body of the bag so i'm going to do that off camera and this is what you should have after you are done joining the handles too so we have it this way and i'm going to attach this magnetic lock or snap to the bag this is how it looks so you open it up this way and attach one on each side each side of the bag on this both sides here and i have a video of how to attach it so i'll drop that below so you can watch and know how to attach it so i'm going to do that off camera and this is how it looks after you are done attaching your magnetic snap to your bag you just open and close it up like this and to the design of this bag you are going to fix the longer side of the handle into the smaller side like this you pull it down this way and then you just um, reshape the bag just open up the bag so it falls into form or into shape you have it into shape so you take your time and then you open it up so you get that balloon look of it so this is the end result of it and this is how the bag is looking like this is the outcome of it that's how we want it and this is what we are doing for this beautiful design handmade with that bag and you can do it without the magnetic snap to see the outcome too feel free to increase the size if you want um, you can do this in any color of your choice this is suitable for all occasions do well to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more and more of my tutorials make sure to comment and share as well stay safe see you in my next video have a nice day and bye